So Madara is the reason why Michi left Nini Sani. Also, we got K9 Kuro and Shadow the Hedgehog. What's going on here? I don't know, but let's check it out and let's talk about it. The thing I wanted to ask you, uh, what was I thinking about? Mm. I'm like, I'm like, this is a cool outfit. Not gonna my lie. My coffee's kicking in, so I'm losing tra uh, track of my thoughts a little bit. Okay, I remember. Um, do I remember? Damn. Wait. She said, I remember. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask you something. Okay, about content. Because sometimes in the okay, chat, you know, we it. have people who are asking us, like, hey, I'm just starting and I'm mm. so far behind you guys, etc. Uh, I need to know from you if this is the same thing for you. People need to understand everything I'm doing now, I've done before six years ago, seven years ago, mm, 10 years ago, mm, 12 years ago. Mm. For example, even like my Russian name being Matara Khan, which means mother cockroach, my first ever username online was the Russian word for monkey. Oh. Like, even <laughs> I have my. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember a while ago. I accidentally, uh, accidentally saw who Madara was back when she was Nina. Like, I saw who she was. And I was like, oh, snap, I got spoiled. <laughs> yeah, she's been doing this for a minute. Suburb ban wheel. Banning like everything minute, I've ever bro. done on stream is something that I've done like 10 years ago to 10 people. Mm -hmm. It's something that I've done eight years ago to 100 people. Like I have taken like everything from before. So I keep trying to tell people like, hey, I know you're at the beginning of where you are. Takes time. But you need to understand that in a year, you will be using from that experience. In three years, you'll be using yep. from mm. that experience. And 100%. Back, like, you know, yeah. do you feel that same way or do you always reinvent? I think uh, that's an interesting question when it comes to like reinventing, right? I'm the type of guy because I've been on the platform for 14 years, right? I've always reinvented, not because it didn't work, but because I always liked experiencing new things. So like the first video, I ever did or like one of the first videos you'll see on this channel is a video from dark souls 2 right dark souls 2 i was doing a guide on where to find a bonfire after that i did some skits you know and then i joined the military and i did some interviews while in the military and then after that i started working for a gaming channel and then after like doing gaming reviews getting games early doing game movies walkthroughs then i came back to my channel and then I started doing some reactions, right? And then after reactions, I started doing motivational content. And, and to this day, I still kind of do that with like the daily dose of hope. It's like some motivational content, but I don't necessarily like reinvent the wheel. I just always keep trying things out that pique my interest at the time. So right now it's reactions. I can see myself in the future instead of just doing reactions. I actually, you know, put time in, get an editor, and like we make like long form content. When I'm saying long form, like, thinking like 20 minutes of like trying to make some type of in interactive intellectual video, whether it's like a video essay or whatever, or all these other things are definitely going to be coming throughout time. But that's just because I enjoy making content. Other people, they might see, I remember like maybe not nowadays, but specifically like five, 10, 10 years, like five to seven years ago, people would see YouTube and they'd be like, oh, uh, you're a YouTuber. Oh, how much money does it make? Right. Because they're, they're interested in getting out of their normal job to get into content creation because they think it makes a lot of money, which it can make a lot of money, but that comes with time. Now, a lot of days, like when people are making their content, it's specifically like getting some type of deals because there's a lot of advertisers. Like even in my email, I get a lot of requests to, oh, check this out, check this out. Like even in my Discord, I got a message yesterday, check this out, right? So there's more incentive to be doing this type of stuff for money and there's easier avenues to make money on platforms but for me personally and what like advice i would give for anybody starting out today or starting out next week somebody starting new to make content just enjoy what you're making at the end of the day that's like the most big factor because there's channels out here they'll probably upload once a month a big ass video and it's mostly to make money off the audience that they have because they're maybe not really passionate in just making videos anymore. Maybe they moved on to something else because I know a couple of creators personally, like they'll make videos because it makes money, but then they take that money and they put it into something else that they enjoy that's off camera. So just enjoy what you're doing and then reap the rewards after however long it takes, whether it takes five years, 10 years, or hell, maybe you'll pop off with a lucky video on your first go. You never know. Uh... I, think I, yeah, I mean, look at you now. <laughs> look at you being a pirate I, now. A pirate yeah, he's a pirate. Arr. Everything just mm -hmm. comes full circle. But well, he was a pirate before. That's yeah. why I try to tell people, like, you do something and let's say, like, it was a great idea. And uh, 
this is a lot of people try to save their best ideas for when they blow up. Do right. your really nah, good. Do your stuff you. now. Because when you do blow up at a thousand, do that idea again. But now you have more money. Now you have more money to make it better. You've already tested that idea. So you and know, you know it works. Don't work. You know that some things are going to work better. So I'm always encouraging people like do your crazy idea now. It's yeah. only going to get better. It's only going to improve. Yeah. yeah. I think um, we live in a day and age where, like, <laughs> the, <laughs> the <laughs> platform is a lot different than it used to be. Before, 100%. It was kind of like, you know, people are focusing on having a lot of subs and that will grow the channel, whatever. But nowadays, I don't know about you guys, but there are a ton of videos I've watched where people barely have any subscribers, but they get a shit ton of views. They'll have like 100K, 200K, yes. a million views. And In then the channel like will have like 10 subscribers. And you're like, oh, yeah. but they just made a really good like video yes. essay and everyone yes. wants to watch it. Yes. And it's like, people get sunk, so hung up over subscriber counts when that really doesn't matter mm -hmm. anymore as much as it used to, especially like stuff like TikTok, even follow accounts on TikTok, oh, that yeah. doesn't matter, bro. You no, can blow up on TikTok not. from nothing. It doesn't even matter. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the crazy thing. I think just because there are so many creators on so many different platforms and right, everybody has an app, whether you're using TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, everybody has that one app that's social, right? You got a social media app. A lot of people have so many different creators in their face that it's almost it, like, and I heard this from a friend literally like six years ago, like even when I was making videos, I'm like, oh yeah, hit the like button. So it helps me grow. And he's like, oh yeah, you will like only like they're selective with their likes, right? They're selective because they think their likes are more valuable, which in incentive, it technically is because there's so many people watching. I guess you could say like, whatever you like is going to be more precious for you. Understandable. Cause there's so many videos and so much content that's just everywhere across the internet. And the same thing when it comes to subscribing, like there are people that will legitimately watch you and not hit subscribe because I, I honestly couldn't tell you why. And like, I'm not really guilty of this, but in a sense that I am, like whenever I'm watching something, I'll watch like three or four videos. And if I like three or four videos, then I'll subscribe instead of just watching one amazing video and be like, oh yeah, Insta sub, right? Only so many channels get an Insta sub. And you've seen those like on these, on this channel specifically, I'll watch something and I'm like, oh, bro, this was amazing. Like Anna Insta sub. So definitely I can see why not many people even subscribe, let alone hit the like button. But hey, if you're watching this video, hit the like button and subscribe because I said it like eight or nine or 10 times. So yeah, help your boy out. Yeah. I mean, hawk to a girl, right? Now she's yeah, hawk to a girl. girl. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. Taking advantage of the, is, the hype. Right? Yeah, that's true. Uh. I just always... <laughs> I always find myself telling people like you might have a PNG now you might like have an idea now and, and oftentimes like it's a great idea yes but you don't have the resources to execute it mm -hmm. cool do whatever Execution you can now important. next time bring that idea next year do it better mouse's first subathon did amazing but it took her third subathon to beat records right like right. I, I think she broke yeah. records on her second one as well yeah but like that only her subathon only improved she only got better at with it she yeah, only like she kept doing more it. and more about yeah. how to do stuff so I'm, I'm like so big on that Shut out, I'm like oh i just wish like i wish people could see how much we failed and how much we didn't know. And how <laughs> yes. Much, I remember when yes, we, first joined and we were talking about yes. the previous job, how much we like kind of didn't know what we were doing. And to be yes. honest, I still kind of don't know what I'm doing yeah. most of the time. You just kind of like, do. I just, just kind of do, do something. Even though in my and that's head, big. I Some people don't that, like, do anything. A good thumbnail and having a good title and having a good video will make people watch. But like yeah. right. videos I thought were not great hit algorithm and views and videos I thought, you know, were great didn't. So I don't know anything. Genuinely. <laughs> and that's a philosophical thing. All that I know is I know nothing, which lets you keep an open mind and you're open to new experiences. Because just because something hit five years ago does not mean it'll hit now. I haven't seen Kuro's struggle or any no success. Bro, I've been uploading Wait, you... since 2008. Oh. 2008. You've not seen like baby Kudo videos? You've yeah. shown it to them. Yeah, I've, I remember. I've been on like YouTube trying yeah. to grow since I was eight years old. And I had many active channels over the years that have closed. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, and it's like, it only takes one day for you to be an overnight success. Which is crazy because you could be grinding your ass off and everybody be like, oh yeah, that guy got lucky. Oh yeah, overnight success is like, nah, bro, he's been dedicated to it, right? It took Kuro 
all these years since 2008 and then getting into an agency and then leaving that agency to find this type of success. And even this success might be minor comparatively to what he might do five or even 10 years from now. It's just about doing it. Like I said earlier, a lot of people think about like they'll have amazing ideas, legitimately ma amazing ideas. And I will tell them, OK, we'll do it. And it's like, oh, it's not the right time or, oh, I'm not ready or blah, blah, blah. Right. The secret is to just do it. And then eventually it'll hit like I'm even seeing it in my channel. And I appreciate you guys that are leaving these amazing comments. Right. Not even just like boost my ego type of comments like, oh, yeah, what you're saying is great. Like there are people that will say what you said is nice. I also think this right. Putting your own opinion on as something that I brought up. I, I've always wanted that. I've always wanted to have a community of people that can articulate their thoughts well. So, yeah, when somebody's like, yeah, what you said was awesome. Also, this. That's that's what I am striving for. And that's what I am getting. And it's just because I am doing it. And it's not easy. Right. There used to be times back in the day I would make videos and I would say, um, in a lot, even sometimes maybe I'll do it here and now and then. But I don't do it as frequently because I am so used to speaking and talking to the camera. And that just comes with time. <laughs> Can we talk about, I want to say Bro, I'm yapping a lot. natural, but it kind of takes away from all the hard work that she does behind the scenes. Yeah. But she makes it look like she's a natural. Yeah. I feel like Michi, when you first see her, you're like, wow, she's so good at it. But then like she, she was successful doing a subathon and she gave right? me like, wasn't Michi successful doing like a uh, fashion. She was like a fashion tuber at one point. Right. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm trying to remember. Like, this was like a year ago I found this out. Like a million prompts. And mm. she researched a million things while she was doing her own stuff. I didn't even ask her. She's just like, oh, by the way, Matara, here's all of this stuff you can do. Here's how this can help. Here's how I was like, girl, what the hell? She's probably w the Michi, hardest bro. worker I know. What do you w think? W Michi. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, she didn't even stream like she wasn't she wasn't even a streamer she didn't want to be a content creator she was doing fashion design you know she, there it is fashion design colorblind. yeah <laughs> she's colorblind girl she even and she's doing fashion, fashion design with that wow oh my um, god i know i've seen some of the stuff yeah but then she just decided to try it out and like i mean now she's michi mochivi and she's doing really well so mm. shout out to yeah. Michi. That's what it is. I feel like if this if this girl puts her mind to anything, she makes it happen. Like she really, but she makes it happen through like hard work and dedication. That's literally yeah. like, literally what everybody can do. Literally, everybody can do that. Like um, she proves to me that everything. Well, is hard. sorry, I'll take that back. Not everybody can do it because not everybody is willing to do it. But if you are willing to do it theoretically speaking you are also able to achieve the same success you have a vision and you work tirelessly day in and day out to make it happen eventually it will happen regardless how long it takes it will eventually happen because you never gave up and you had the vision to to pursue that yeah it's, it's absolutely true uh, sorry not everybody can do it but if you are willing to do it it'll eventually work work in life everything meeting her made me realize like i could work a little more Mm -hmm. I can I can work a little more. I can try a little more. I can do a little harder. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know? and that's big. It was I like can do really better. Hard I can work harder. Understand big. like her worth. I feel like even now she's kind of doubtful yeah. about it. Yeah. But like for the longest time, when I got into V Shoujo, like mm -hmm. I, I didn't tell her to like try get in V Shoujo or anything. I I was telling her that she should just fucking do something. Like do, do something a away from what she was currently doing. Because oh. I was saying like, you have so much potential uh -huh. and you don't realize how much potential you have and it makes me annoyed. <laughs> so just do something. I've already this said this several times. This is a little different. Me, yeah. the moment I was like, I'm getting out. I didn't, you know, again, it was way before Hollywood. everything. I was like, I'm getting out. I was like, I'll tell you what it's like on the other side when I'm out. And then mm -hmm. I got out and then the shoujo happened. And then I was like, girl, I am telling you, give me like a little bit of time to get myself <laughs> situated. And then you're leaving. Promise me you're going to leave. And I kept being like, I, I was actually <laughs> being kind of a pushy. Like, again, I try not to be a pushy friend because I know that everybody has their boundaries. But mm. with Michi, I know that if I am pushy, she knows that it's from a place of love and right. not from a bad place. Like, Michi knows if I'm like, and I ve I was very, Michi, can, we can talk about that one day with her. I think in like September, I was like, you. 
Sorry, the you need uh, to leave. quality. October was like, you need to leave, by the way. Yeah. November, I was like, by the way, you need to leave. Because also, like, I couldn't, I didn't want to reveal other people's stuff, but I knew mm. that, like, some other people were planning as well. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, Michi. I, I thought all of uh, Nichi Yin was planning on leaving, bro. Like, no cap. You need to leave. No I kizzy. Promise you, I will I, not let you I, fail. Like, yeah. I promise you, I will collab with you. I promise you, we will do yeah. stuff every day. I promise you, like, you're going to love Twitch. But yeah, I, I was, I I was on her ass. And I, and I even refer. I was like, me and mm. him are not gonna let you die. Exactly. But I think yeah, like, I was being so dramatic. Okay. I'm friends. so dramatic. Those are good I friends. I was like, Kuro and I won't let you die. <laughs> but I think you're gonna die if you stay there. I think gonna kill you. your creativity, you're I gonna mean, be a shell of a woman. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, and it's true. Is, and it's like, true. I, That's I the crazy thing. The whole time, like, you just, you're not gonna grow there. That's what I'm, I was, it's just honest. 100%. You're never gonna be a for your efforts. 100%. She's like the yes. definition of bottlenecking. Yes, like, because she's literally like she remember, she wasn't part of EN. She was part of Niji Indonesia. So she was already bottle cap to one specific area. Same thing with EN. Like if you're stuck with EN, you're not really going to do anything when it comes to JP versus Twitch. Right. You have the ability to stream for JP, for Indo, for EN. But it's more open because you're not stuck in one, a company, and two, you're not stuck in a certain place in a company. She was. Actually, mm -hmm. though, like, for real. It's like, if you just leave... I love videos like these. These are great videos. I love these. Pop off. And then, yes. look what happened. Yes. yes. Oh, my God. And I remember I was even like, look, Kuro and I we're doing pretty good if we're getting out and we're like seeing this, <laughs> yeah. like, it's not we're doing pretty good you. you're still yeah. I, was like, I was like look at the facts it's been how many years like this is an abusive relationship <laughs> <laughs> and i was so dramatic and again just so we just so we're clear i would never do this with a casual friend or somebody like i would never for example like say this to somebody like mel because i know that mel would actually take this so personal and like take it very like more negatively but Michi, I know this bitch can handle it. And it's understandable. I was like... Because even though M Matara is coming from a place of love, she is essentially like trying to steer somebody's creative endeavors or a creative path, right? Again, it's from a place of love. But not everybody likes having somebody else tell them what they should do with their life or their career or whatever, right? Even though she wasn't right saying, you need to do this, she was definitely heavily, you know, advising her to do so with her career. Which, I mean, who knows? Maybe she really loved being in uh, Niji Endo, but, you know, it's an unknown to step out and do something else. But having a friend try and convert, uh, coerce you into doing so, even though if it's in their best interest, it's, it's risky. Right? I've been reading a book on psychology, right? There's four different types of people. There's red people, and those are more of like the egotistical. They're always saying, I think this. I think this should happen. I think, I think, I feel, I this, right? They say they're using their ego. Those are the red people. Then you have the yellow people who I'm kind of like, where we're always more, oh, this could possibly be great. This would be amazing. We should do this, this adventure, right? This, that, this, these many different things that could happen is super exciting. Then you have green people. The majority of people are the green people. And those are the more passive, more, oh, I'm not going to do this. Uh, it's too much work. Or they're more chilled. They're more relaxed. And one of the biggest things that I read is like, unless it comes from a friend, they won't really listen or believe something is possible or is in their best interest. Example, if you have a best friend that tells you, you should go buy this cryptocurrency because I think it will be amazing and you should do it. They will do it even if factually speaking, it's not a great idea because they will take their friend's word as law, point blank, period. And then for and like definitely a lot of people that are more uh, quiet can fall into the green category. Like if you're more of a um, you're, you're more of the type of person that doesn't really speak their mind or they're not a go getter. Like if someone's like, oh, I should build a company. If you're the type of person that says, damn, that sounds like a lot of work. You might be a green person, which necessarily isn't a bad thing, right? But it's not the go-getter mentality of a yellow or a red. And just to wrap up the fourth one, the fourth one is the blue. These are the people that are more strategic and they are very calculated with everything they do. Think about like the programmers or the super nerdy people that keep to themselves. Those are usually the blues. But yeah, red, yellow, green, blue. Let me know which one you think you are in the comments below. 
every week I'd be like, so when are you getting out? And then I think she talked about <laughs> Sounds it like the army. Kind of like say it. <laughs> um, she was getting ghosted a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She talked about it. She was getting ghosted a little bit by management. And I was like, call them up. I was like, call them. Be call more them. aggressive. I'm like they're trying yeah. to, they're trying to. It, it sounds like she's agreeing. She's letting stuff happen to her instead of actively pursuing something in moderate. She sounds like a red. They're trying to like make you miss like, I was like, no, call them, call them. No, 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 you want to leave. Hi. Like, go to a lawyer. Hi. She's a red. I was so on her Hi. <laughs> Kuro, I think he's more of a yellow. I was like, I, I, I squeezed that girl out of there. <laughs> Well, that's good. I was really on her ass about it because yeah. I just, I know how, you know, I know how this was not going to bring her joy and she knew it, but yeah. I think she was also like very afraid to take the jump. Oh yeah. She was definitely afraid, you know, even fear of the uh, unknown the of it's times I, I've like had to psych her up. It's insane. You got to cheer it. her up and make you know, her if you're a Michi be willing to try something. Be, uh, that's a yellow. Be very positive to her. That is a yellow she likes yeah. personality she likes trait. I feel like I love um, psychology. It's really hard to get into a brain that people like us sometimes. So yeah, even though it Michi, if you ever watch this, I like you. I think you're cool. Seems so obvious because you guys are so nice. So just be extra, yeah. extra nice. Be so nice to her. Yeah. You know, there is something that's a little bit of a if you look at her letter that she posted when she was leaving. Mm. I think you can find a few types that I type because I have a very easy tell when I type. I put two dots instead of three dots when I type very quickly. Right. Because while that morning of we were in call and she was crying and I was like, it's okay, girl, like, let's open up a document together. You talk to me, I talk to you and we're going to like kind of like, you know, do this because she'd be like, I want to say this. I'm like, okay, okay, I got you. Yeah. So if you read that letter, there's a few spaces Honor, that she never ended up like, changing you. where it's like two I dots. <laughs> and I wrote <laughs> This is cool. This is a cool video. Because that's my tell that I write. I write two dots quite often. <laughs> <laughs> and I was with her and she was crying and I was crying and I was like helping her write it. Because, you know, at some point she was crying and she couldn't write. And I was like, it's okay. It's okay. What do you want to say? I'm like, I'll type it out for you, you know? Yeah. Um, but if you find that and you're able to see, there's a few spots where she definitely has like two dots in a mm. few places. <laughs> oh my god! I wrote that. <laughs> Fuck! I'm 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 really happy that we're all. One thing though, and again, this is very normal. Right before Michi debuted, I talked to her a lot, right? Because she wasn't working yet. Yeah. But then she debuted, and I got my podcast, and we still talk just the way I talk to you, right? Yeah. Like, the hey, mint and Matara pod soon. Right. But I we're not able to talk as much. Yeah. Because we're also not in the same time zone. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And we're working a lot. Yep. And it's like, ugh. It yep. And that's that's definitely a hard part. Like I even I feel that right because I have a uh, I have people that I would consider online friends, and I think like shout out to the people that I've collabed with, like Sailor Maid. You know, it's like I do want to keep connected. I do want to message these people, but I am also busy, right? And that's the hard part. It's like you're busy, they're busy. You know, it's it, you could send a text here and there, but it, that's not the same as catching up, man. Catching up is so hard, man, especially for me. Let me know if you feel the same way where it's like you're trying to keep up with friends and it's just hard to do so. But I mean, that's part of growing up, right? That's part of life, you know? Some of your friends, you know, after you graduate, they go off and they have kids or they go off and get a crazy career. So definitely it's hard to keep up. And sometimes you just even split apart because of it. But yeah, that's it's part of life, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really change anything though. You guys meet up every, oh, there's not been a year where you haven't messed up yet. So that's you, good. you say this, but I met up with you too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, there, we, we meet up every year. The previous years you met up more often. This year we only met once. Um, yeah. But uh, hopefully next year we're also going to meet at least once or twice. Hopefully. Oh, for yeah. sure. I mean, we definitely are. Like, yeah, 100%. Oh, dude, so, I really, plan. really want to go to Australia. <laughs> I really want to go to Australia. <laughs> Okay, man. Uh, there it is. That that was man. That was a pretty deeper and deep and deep conversation. I honestly wasn't expecting, especially from this title, bro. This title was moderate push Michi to leave that company, bro. We talked about way more than just that. That was just part of the video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned something from it. And yeah, thank you guys always for watching and you know helping your boy out. You know, it's it's awesome to see the channel grow. And like a part of me is like, wow, this is scary. But, you know, that's just part of it.
always enjoyed making this and like seeing it come true because of you guys. You know, it's it's very it, it gives me hope. I'll say that. And it and I'm always hopeful. You know, your boy Kunshan ain't never really down. You know, you know, sometimes life gets difficult, but that's just an obstacle. And you can either go over the obstacle or you can go through it. At the end of the day, you still need to get past it. So yeah. Hope these words have helped you guys out. And if you enjoyed, hit the like button. If you're new here, subscribe. And if you want more videos like this, join the Discord down below. Drop it in the video request section, and I'll check it out. And until next time, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.